it's time for another lunar video where we kind of get a discussion going in the comments section of the day we're going to go back to 1995 and we're going to talk about the return of star wars i'm curious of what you guys thought about the return of star wars when i say return i mean of course the action figures and when you got into it, did you know about them before they came out did you just happen to walk into a toy store and see them at the store or was this something you was waiting for? Now, I was into collecting toys by this time. I got into it probably around 92, 93, thanks to the Batman anime series and some other figures. And, of course, I was getting vintage at this time, and I was buying the Star Wars Bendoms a few years before just because they were Star Wars, and they were in the toy section. And I was reading the magazines, Action Figure News, uh, Toy Review. So I knew these were coming. We didn't see pictures for a long time. We heard rumors, and then they, I think they were talked about it. I'm not even not sure if they were shown at Toy Fair, because I don't think I saw any pictures until the summertime, or right before the summertime, in those magazines. But it was before the Internet, so maybe they showed up there. Well, I wouldn't say before the Internet. Before the Internet, where it was easy, you know, take a picture with your phone and put it online. You had to take a picture, get it developed, get it scanned, get it, uh, find a hosting website. <laughs> so it was a lot harder. So I remember reading about these and hearing about them, uh, that they were coming out. And I remember there was some discussion because Kenner said they were going to use the same molds for the ships and the play sets. And, of course, the vintage collectors, you know, they're a finicky bunch. You start talking about using the same molds and stuff like that. You start thinking, oh, my God, there goes my value in my collection or just there goes the fun of collecting. I had a guy, friend, that collected a lot of box stuff and he had... A lot of G.I. Joe, a lot of Star Wars. He sold off all his Star Wars stuff because he said the market was going to crash in 95 with the new stuff. Because his theory was, if somebody can go in and buy a new Falcon, same mold, looks the same, but it's got better features, better sound, uh, probably better quality, why would they spend, you know, double their money for a vintage one? But I think we came to learn that it didn't hit the market. Every year, couple of years, I hear about how it's going to hurt the market. Uh, the retro figure is going to hurt the market. The early bird set they did, not the early bird set, the uh, classic four pack they did in the 90s was going to hurt the market. It never hurts the market. People want, people that grew up on the old stuff really, you know, they don't want something that looks like it. They want the original like they had as a kid. But getting back to the uh, Return of Star Wars, of course, that wasn't great, but I remember service merchandise i remember they were hitting i heard rumors on the internet and the news group they were hitting didn't see any around here went into a service merchandise stopped there it was like after work like five or six o'clock so let me just run in here and see what they got and believe it or not they had all the figures from series one except uh, princess leia i think she was a late release and i think 3po was a little late shipping also so of course i picked up probably I think I picked one of each at that time because they didn't have many. Probably only got a couple boxes in. Called my friend Russ, who you guys know, Russ, if you watch the live streams, and was like, hey, get over here. Service Merchandise has the Star Wars figures. And I can remember taking those Star Wars figures home before I, I did open them, but before I opened them, and that orange, now it's so. Now it's. There's like. You know, I got a nostalgia for the 80s stuff, the vintage stuff, of course, when I look at it. Now I'm getting that with the uh, 90s stuff. Because I look at that orange card with the Vader on the card and a little uh, uh, picture of him on the side. Staring at that. I love that orange card look. And I can remember looking at that, looking at the back of it to see the other figures. Looking at the Luke Skywalker. thinking, man, this is weird. He's got a lot of muscles. But I think because I heard or saw pictures of him, I wasn't that shocked when I saw the figure. But I was never really... I didn't see many people bashing on the figures. A lot of people say, yeah, they do got a lot of muscles and stuff. But I think we were just so happy to have Star Wars, we didn't care. And, of course, a couple months later, I got the Falcon. But the figures wouldn't fit in there because it was the Han. You had to squeeze his legs so tight to get him in the cockpit because they made him so bulky. But I can remember going in that service merchandise, seeing these figures. And once I got them, my hope was like, where's Series 2? I, need I was hooked on these stuff. I mean, it was like crack to me. You know, I was already getting into Star Trek, but these Star Wars figures I had to have. Started reading about Series 2, got into Series 2, but uh, I can remember waiting and waiting for those figures to hit the store. And that's what I'm curious about you guys. Did you uh, Were you into toy collecting then? Were you like me? Were you like reading online, reading the magazines, getting all excited for it? Or were you more like walking into a store and there it was, Star Wars figures back on the shelf. You didn't even know it was coming back out. Uh, at first, they were a little hard to find, but then by September, I think, they were they were about in every store. At least by Christmas, they was everywhere you could imagine. Uh, you could get easily get any one you wanted. 3PO started showing up. Uh, Princess Leia, Monkey Face Leia, was going for about 50 bucks. But then, 
uh, as, the year, as we got closer to the end of the year, started hitting more and more also. So she was pretty easy to find. There was really no rare figure. Of course, you got the long tray, short tray, lightsaber tray, and all that BS stuff. And you remember you had the Boba Fett with the half circle or full circle. And then people got really technical on the back of the card. It had like a little barcode number, uh, 0.001. It was like, well, we'll but mine says 00 0.2 and people was looking for 0.1. It just got really ridiculous. But I want to put it out here. 95, the return of the Star Wars action figures to stores. Hadn't slowed down since then. Still, from 95 to 2021, there's never been a year of Star Wars toys wasn't released. So let me know. Uh, how did you get back into the Star Wars 90s collecting? Did you, like I said, did you just walk in and see it in the store? Did you get hype up and wait and keep watching stores waiting for it to hit? Uh, just let me know that in the comments below, and we'll be back with a later video. Thanks for watching. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.